guys, how is it going? Welcome to another good, good day. I'm excited. Look at how bright my room looks. It is morning currently, uh, and I'm excited. I like waking up early, and I like having bright, sunny days like these. I am excited that it is September, yet it is still, you know, as, as warm and good as it is here in good old Arkansas. Guys, welcome. Let's get started. One, two, three. News flash, my hand is a lot better, you know, than it used to be. Uh, I don't have to wear the brace anymore. I can finally start riding again, um, which is exciting for sure. I've been riding my road bike just because less shock and whatnot, you know. However, um, just recently, uh, I, I did something to my foot, you know, whenever I fell from my mountain bike. And so my right foot uh, hurts uh, quite a bit. So I can't run. I haven't been running for a while. Um, I can still ride my bike. So. I guess that is okay. Guys, God is so good. Oh, come on, Raul, you're talking about God again? Like, like, talk about nachos or something. Aren't you Mexican? Yes, yes, I am Mexican and nachos are not. And even if they were, I'm not gonna talk about them just because I really wanna talk to you guys about God. Recently, I discovered this really great song by Josh Carrolls. Then name of the song is Born Again. The link is in the description below. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song. Not only is the melody gorgeous, uh, but also uh, the video. Thank you, iPhone. Um, the video um, is great. The song walks you through life from the very beginning of life until the point of a decision that we all have to make and the video walks you through it in a super unique way you see the progression of this person you know this man and he starts out as a little raccoon and then eventually turns into this big bat and then eventually he turns into a werewolf and then eventually he turns into like a yeti type of thing and then he turns into some other different monster but by the end of it he comes to a point in which he um decides to do something the reason why he's a raccoon at first the reason why the video starts with this man becoming a raccoon is because it's infancy all right it's it's childhood and this man walks outside his door and he sees a pot with flowers. It's the only thing that has color in this whole video. And he knocks it down. And he loses that. So the whole video, he's becoming lots of different monsters, getting bigger and bigger every time and uglier and uglier every time as he's growing up, as he's growing older and trying to find those flowers again, trying to regain back something that he has lost. And by the end of the video, he comes to a point in which this man has to make a decision. When I watched that video, I started crying. I am serious. Yeah, I, I started crying because it was very convicting. It was something that was very true. You know, it spoke to my life. Guys, go watch this video. It is honestly so good. If you yourself follow Jesus, you might understand what I'm talking about. If you don't follow Jesus, if you've never given this Christian thing a try, you're probably not gonna understand what I'm talking about. But I can explain that to you. Here's the thing. We were all made by God. All of us whether you like to accept it or not, whether, whether you believe in that or not, we were all made by God. Um, we were created. Psalm 139 in the Bible says, you, you, you formed me in secret. You knit me in my mother's womb, um, you know, and, and you have searched me, oh God, you know me. And it just talks about the, the relationship that a human being can have with the Creator and the relationship that a human has had with the Creator since before we were born. A lot of people like to think of that as nothingness. Um, they like to think of, you know, previous to being in existence here on Earth, we like to think of that as there was not me and there was not my parents and we just weren't here, you know. Um, or there are other philosophies to that for sure. Uh, but, but the reality and the truth of it is that we we're always in God's plan. All of us were. There was a plan for us to come into existence, to come into this life. 
The thing is that life oftentimes seems to kind of suck, you know? My last video, I posted it, um, and it talks about why does God hate me? Why does God do things, you know, that, 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 he, that, that I hate? Or, or why does God allow things to happen that hurt me? Why, why, why does he allow that to happen? And, we, and that is the picture that we have of life oftentimes, you know? Bad thing after bad thing after bad thing after bad thing. And that eventually starts to damage our perspective and our vision and our, and our understanding of what life was supposed to be. You probably have heard the story, Adam and Eve were placed in the garden and they were made to be immortal and they were made to live in communion, eternal communion with God. However, sin entered the world and then everything went into the dumpster. And because of sin, we now have death and because of death, we now have evil that is in this world. And so we look at this world and we think, God isn't really real, but here is where the video that I mentioned earlier is important. We all have lost something. Much like the man in this video, you know, from the time we were children, from the time we were kids, we, we are searching for something. We are searching for that life. We are searching for that thing that is going to please us, that is going to fulfill us. In this video, the man goes searching for those flowers that he dropped, that he broke himself. And so he tries to find it uh, in a woman. He tries to find it uh, by eating. He tries to find it by, by stealing them from somebody else. Um, and the result is <laughs> he, he doesn't find them, okay? He, he doesn't find th those flowers. They, they're just not there for him. And look, I don't know what you believe in, but I do know that if you are watching this video, you were born at some point, okay? You were born. Right now, you are in the middle of your life. You know, you're at some point between birth and death. The next big, big thing that is going to happen to you is going to be death, all right? And right now, you're stuck in this life and you're trying to figure out what to do with it. You're trying to figure out, you know, what is going to happen with me. You have a choice to make right now about what's going to happen to you after death. The chorus of this song is, I am my mother's child and my father's son. It took me a while, but my time has come to be born again. I do know something about you guys, and that is that you were born. Now let me explain to you guys what it means to be born again. Everybody is born at some point and then everybody dies at some point. But whenever you are born again, you are given a new life. And it's a life beyond this physical life that we see right now. But the result of this new life is that there is no end to that life. The meaning of the song that I've been talking to you guys about is so good because in the video everything is dark and gray and shadows and there is no color. But by the end of the video, when he makes his choice, there is color. There is brightness. The link is in the description below. There is no end. There is no end to this life. When you are born again, there is no end to the life that comes from that second birth. Yes, does that sound weird? Absolutely, it, it is totally weird. But, you know, j just, just hang out with me a minute, okay? Uh, I'll keep watching these videos. I want to, to I'm not bragging about myself, but, but I, I believe that I'm a, a pretty good example um, of somebody who is in their journey of this second life. And I'm sure you know somebody also in your life who, who, um, who, who who has been born again am i always happy as i am when i'm making these videos absolutely not like i've told you guys before i man i i, I struggle you know i have things and and we will talk about my failures um and in the previous video i talked about some of my failures not a whole lot of them um and it's like i'm not perfect you know and it's not like life is going to be perfect either but what i do know is that I have been born again and that my days really are as bright as this video is right now you know uh, you know that my life really does have a different better perspective and you know what's even better is that God himself doesn't let me forget this new better perspective God himself doesn't let me you know lose sight of what he has done in my life giving me a new life 
And guys, if you if you don't believe me, you know, I, I challenge you guys, come and meet me personally, like like actually email me, message me, um, you know, comment below. I challenge me. If 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 you don't believe me, if, if this seems way too far out there for you, um I want you guys to, to, to get to know me uh, because I want to introduce you guys to Jesus. I want you guys to know him because I do know that uh, in my life, you know, the only... I, I want you guys to know him because he really is that good. He really does make you smile like this one whenever you think about him. Um, and, and to realize that he really is that close to you, um, you know, he, he really is my friend he really does bring new life to you um, he really does bring those those flowers that you lost those, those, that thing that you are looking for he really does bring it back to you the link is in the description below so what happens after death you know a lot of people are looking forward to heaven okay uh, and and a lot of people are looking forward to being in a place where there's no more suffering where, where no more of the bad stuff that's here on earth is going to happen okay a lot of people that's their hope my hope guys is being with Jesus forever now you're like that's kind of weird that's it's really weird actually with, you know isn't that why you're serving Jesus right now aren't you serving Jesus so you can get to heaven Jesus is heaven. Jesus is the perfection that we're looking for. Jesus is that place where nothing bad happens. He is that. And it's great because when you meet Jesus, you can have heaven right now. You can have eternity right now. You can be in a place where Where that suffering disappears you can you can and that is why i follow jesus he has never not been real to me he has always been so real to me and not only that but he has followed through and he has come through for me and that's why i want you guys to know him gosh dang it raul your talks are always so serious i don't even know why i'm watching this <sighs> so that is everything that i have for you guys today for you guys for you for you, for you, yes, you, not your loving companion, friend, person who is watching this video. Mm hmm. Nachos are really good though, even though they're not Mexican, they are good. Good nachos are good. That is everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys another day. Later. Bye.